What's up, fellas? You are now tuned in to the Trick Lessons Podcast. And I am your host, Sir Tricks A Lot, the number one trick on the internet. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications. Make sure that you share this video because what I'm about to bring up today uh, pretty much plays into a recent controversy that everybody is talking about. So if you guys haven't heard, uh, Dwayne Wade's son, Zion Wade, came out as transgender. He is now changing his name to Zaya Wade. And as a result, there was a lot of backlash. Most, well, there was a lot of backlash, but let's be honest, 90 to 95% of the people were celebrating his son for wanting to be a woman instead of a man, which, you know, that's, that's what we have come to in society. We're not celebrating uh, uh, a boy, especially a black boy. We're not, especially with the history of black males in this country. You know, we're not celebrating a black male getting good grades. We're not celebrating a black male doing productive things like getting a job or starting a business. We're celebrating a black male wanting to be a female. That's where we're at in this country. But I digress. So he, he's changed his name to Zia Wade. And I guess he's going to be a girl now. And Little Bootsy... The rapper responded to it pretty harshly. He responded to it pretty harshly saying, come on, D-Wade, he's, he's 13. He don't even know who he is right now. Don't make him cut off his you-know-what. You know, this is foul, man. Blah, blah, blah. And Lil Boosie was pretty much saying what we were all thinking. Right? But then something weird happened. Um... While I was on Facebook, a whole bunch of people um, who, I don't know if they disagreed with Boosie or not. They didn't really say if they did disagree. Um, But the counter argument was, well, how are you going to tell Wade to do with his 13-year-old son, daughter, he, she, it, his 13-year-old it, whatever it is, when you told your 13-year-old son when you gave your 13-year-old son on his birthday a prostitute to give him a blowjob. And a lot of people were like, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, Bootsy is a hypocrite. Bootsy is a hypocrite. He was forcing heterosexuality on his son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did he know his son was heterosexual and like blowjobs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw a lot of that. And it made me think about the subject. Um, it, it, it really made me think, like, you know, you guys, what do you think about... Uh, when, when it comes to getting started in tricking, how young is entirely too young to get started with this tricking? Because, I mean no matter what age you arrive to you're always going to if you're if you're a pretty smart or pretty aware male here in a in the United States or in western civilization you're going to arrive to the conclusion that something is off with the male and female dating dynamics you're always going to come to that conclusion and especially if you're an educated lame within black society, you're going to come to the conclusion that you have to do entirely too much to get easy access to sex. So how young is too young before you start tricking? Me, myself, I always told this story, you guys. I started tricking at, I started tricking at, 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 should I say my age? Well, yeah, I, I should say, I started tricking at 17. You know, and I did it once at 17 and I didn't do it again until um, I was in my latter years in college. Because the first time was just kind of like an experimental thing. I saw her. She was a she was a a 
girl who used to work on the corner right by my house like the street corner was right by my house and she used to always stand on that corner and i was i used to be curious like man you know i, I got 10 bucks and i wonder if she'll tell me i'm too young to be buying buying a a, a hoe off the street so with my ten dollars i walked up to her and i said hey I want a blow job and she asked me how much you got and I showed her a ten dollar bill and she said come on you know so and th that's what began the tricking for me was 17 too young is 13 too young should uh, here's a, here's where I get conflicted should we should we not tell young boys not to trick and allow them to walk into the trap of the 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 matriarchy, the American gynocracy here in America and all over Western civilization. Should we let black boys go into the various dating traps that awaits them with daggle them with the scraggle daggles and daggle them? Should we let them um, get trapped by? Uh, one of these Bushikwas and end up getting ran through the ringer in child support before they figure out, man, I just need to buy prostitutes and leave these regular females alone. Should we let them get ran through the ringer first? Should we allow them to go and get married and get divorced and figure out, you know what, it probably would have just cost less to get a prostitute over getting married how young is too young i want you guys to give me your feedback in the comment section and as you guys can see right now i'm driving but yeah you guys give me your feedback in the comment section um as for what's my thought about now i'm going to give my thoughts about bootsy allowing his son his 13 year old son to get a prostitute for his 13th birthday um here's the thing you know, when, when I was, I remember when I was 15, when I was 15, I entered my first strip club and got a lap dance for 20 bucks. And the woman was fine too. She was fine as hell. She was, she was light skinned, um, looked very nice, had a nice ass, had, had some has some nice bee stings, everything. And I was going back for second helpings and, you know, I probably would have had my first tricking experience right then and there, but a bodyguard in a club found out that I was younger than what I was really supposed to be. What had happened, here's what happened, you guys. So let me, let me go backwards a little bit. So I told you guys I played basketball, right? So when I did go to the strip club, we was, we were, um, I was on the AAU basketball team and we were on a trip and some of us could go on a strip club and some of us couldn't. Some of us had, I mean, at that time I had a mustache. I had a mustache and I was a fairly tall dude. And my friend who was with me, he had a mustache and a goatee and he was a hefty kid. So we passed for looking 18 or older at the time. And, you know, we had some teammates in there. We had some teammates who couldn't get in the strip club, who had baby faces. Man, they must have, you know, we was inside We was inside of the strip club enjoying ourselves. And the guys who couldn't get in, you know, they snitched on us. And that's why I couldn't go back for that second lap dance, which probably would have been, you know, my first tricking experience. But I say that to say this, you know, I was in a strip club at 15, probably been in a strip club a few more times after that while I was underaged. Um, as far as Bootsy getting his 13 year old son uh, uh, a blowjob from a prostitute, um, I wouldn't say that I don't see any problem with it, but I'll say this, like I said earlier, I would rather I'm okay with him doing it because then the young man can see for himself 
you know, this is how much it takes to get a blowjob. And then he can, he can compare that experience with any other situation that he has to deal with these females, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be in a marriage, or anything else. He can compare the cost of that situation to every other situation, and he can make an informed decision. Rather than, you know, not telling our younger boys, our younger males, about the tricking experience up front, letting them go through the buzzsaw, and then, you know, letting them basically get their, uh, basically letting their, 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 their lower extremities get decapitated by the system. So that's my thoughts. I, I think, I think, you know, I'm conflicted by it, but I, I, I certainly wouldn't do it. Would I tell, if I had a son, would I tell my son that I have done it? Yes. Would I, would I get my son a prostitute? No. Would I, if my son got a prostitute behind my back, you know, would I admonish him a little, a little, I, I, I'd admonish him a little. But then at the same time, I'd laugh and I'd joke with him and I'd be like, hey man, what that, what that bitch look like? She have a fat ass? She suck your dick? You know, I'd, I'd be, I'd be cracking jokes with them after that. But, you know, that's, that's just my feeling on the situation. Like I said, overall, you know, Bootsy, he, he, he gave the information to his son up front and, you know, I think as a parent, he has a, he has a right to make sure that his son is fully informed about how the world works whether we approve of it or not but like i said you guys give me your thoughts make sure you like and subscribe to the channel hit the bell make sure you share this video especially with people talking about this little boosty situation and remember you guys if you ain't tricking you ain't trying